Magic Spoon Bass at the Waterworks by Joanna Cole, illustrated by Bruce Dejan. Our class really has bad luck. This year, we got Miss Frizzle, the strangest teacher in school. We don't mind Miss Frizzle's green dresses or her green shoes. It's the way he, she acts. It really gets us. Miss Frizzle makes us grow green mold on old pieces of bread. She makes a few clay models of garbage dumps, draw diagrams of plants and animals, and read five sign books a week. Other classes go on trips to the zoo or even the circus. Guess where we went to on our class trip? To the water world. And to get ready for the trip, Miss Fraser made us spend the whole month in the library. We had to find out exactly how our city gets its water down the to the last drop. We also had to collect ten interesting facts about water. I don't think there are ten interesting interesting facts about water. Maybe four and a half. Water fact. Number one, by wonder about two uh, second third of your body, two thirds, two thirds of your body is made up of water. Water fact number two by team. Water is the only substance that found in the form of a liquid, a solid, and a gas in nature. In the parking lot. The old school bus was waiting. To our surprise, there was no bus driver. Instead, the freeze herself was behind the wheel. Oh no, not the octopus dress. Let's pretend we don't know her. At the end of the block, the bus went into a dark tunnel. When we came out, something amazing had happened. The bus looked a lot different. We looked different too. Everyone was wearing a scuba diving outfit. Even Mrs. Freezer. I want my mommy. Mrs. Freezer was the only one who didn't seem to notice the change. She just drove on in the middle of a bridge. The birds started to rise into the air. It went right up into a cloud. Water fact number three by Shirley. There is water in the air you are breathing. You can't see it because it is in the form of invisible gas called water vapor. When water evaporates, it changes from a liquid into a gas and rises into the air. I didn't know that, said the bird. We're going up. As you know, class. Water is always evaporated from lakes, rivers, streams, and oceans. And Arnold, are you paying attention? I knew I should have stayed on today. Oh, mommy, you said that already. Then Mrs. Freezer did the weirdest thing ever. She told everyone to get out of the bus. The kids didn't want to go. But Freezer threatened to give extra homework if we didn't. Some kids stuck their heads out of the cloud and looked down. There were mountains down there, and the clouds was go higher every minute. I took the homework," says some children. It was getting colder too. All around us, drops of water began to form, and as drops got bigger, we got smaller. Ah! We're shrinking. I was already small for my age. Water fact number four by Flourish. Clouds are water. The higher up you go, the colder the air is. When the water vapor rises, the cold air makes the vapor from droplets, which hang in the air as a mist. This is a cloud. Before long, each kid was the size of a raindrop. 
In fact, each kiss was in a raindrop. The drop began to fall. Mrs. Freezer class was raining. Stay together, children. Eee! It's a good thing I brought my umbrella. We fell into a clear mountain stream and began flowing down the mountain side. A relation day on the water. Watch out for rough children. Water fight number five by Phil. There is exactly the same amount of water on Earth now as there was millions of years ago. The water keeps going round and round. It evaporates from lakes, rivers, oceans, and forms clouds in the sky. Then it returns to Earth again as rain and snow. This process is called the water cycle. Circle. In no time, we reach the reservoir that holds water for our city. We're going into the water purification system. This clutch chip was not so boring after all. This is great. What's that? We have rich reservoir children. Follow me to the water purification system. Are you listening, Arnold? Not really. Evergreen trees can keep dust and leaves from blowing into the reservoir. Plants keep people and animals from dirtying the reservoir. Inspector, make sure no sewage ships in from nearby houses. Inspector, make sure no toxic waste are dumped nearby. Some water works by Dorothy Amy. A reservoir is a place where water is stored. When you purify water, you clean it. 